All right. Well, you remember that? Remember the movie Swingers with Vince Vaughn and John Favreau? And toward the end, he's all drunk in that bar or the diner, and he gets up and he gets on the table and he swings. He goes, "You're all grown up, and you're all grown up." Well, guess what? I think crypto is all grown up because crypto exchange Coinbase now has approval to offer crypto futures trading to its customers. The green light comes nearly two years after Coinbase filed the initial application. The company says. It hopes to make crypto futures available in the coming weeks. Shares of Coinbase closing slightly in the red today. Unclear why, but it's a big deal. Let's talk more about what it might mean. Bring in crypto guru and tech investor, Anthony Pompliano. I guess, I guess crypto with a future does feel like it's all grown up. Brian, listen, I, I think that uh, Bitcoin and the crypto industry is not going anywhere. Uh, I used to come on this show five years ago, and as the price crashed from 20000 down to $3,000, I told everyone that uh, this is a very, very resilient industry. Young people want these assets, and they're going to continue to buy it, and uh, it would recover. I think we're in the exact same situation. We've obviously seen the price crash significantly. We're about 50% down from all-time highs. But I think that what we are seeing underlying here, something like this uh, futures development with Coinbase, but also a lot of the trading volume across the industry is showing that this stuff is not going to go away. And so people who have gotten bored or have left, uh, I think they're in for a big surprise over the next 18 to 24 months as this thing comes roaring back once again. Why? So why why, why, does why roaring back? And listen, if you're a long-term crypto investor, I know you are, I'm talking about you, the pejorative, you know, the rhetorical out there and across the world, you've been through 50% declines before, right? And you, if you've stomached it, you've gotten rich. What do you see as the next sort of bull catalyst for crypto, Anthony? Most people watching this show, they went to Economics 101 class, and when they sat there, one of the first things they were taught was supply and demand. When you look at Bitcoin, about 19 million of the 21 million Bitcoin are sitting out there in the circulating supply. Of that, a majority are being held for over one year without trading hands. So it's a highly illiquid uh, circulating supply. And so when you look at things like the halving that's coming up next year, it's a supply shock uh, to an asset. That usually leads to more media coverage. That media coverage then leads to more institutional participation. You add in things like BlackRock coming in with their ETF applications, also others like ARK Invest, et cetera. And then you even look at things like these futures, right? Futures make up about 80% of all trading volume in the crypto industry. There's over a trillion dollars worth of that trading volume every single year. If you look at something like there's a new uh, data platform called Velo Data that goes and highlights a lot of this stuff, you can see the volumes are trading uh, and people are not leaving. So the mainstream conversation has changed, but if you just look at supply and demand, highly illiquid market, and you're going to get these catalysts to the upside. And so when that happens, yeah. we've seen it over and over again. I expect that there will be a much higher Bitcoin price in the coming months. Yeah, it feels like the true believers, they're sticking around. Maybe some of the fringe players, they've gone away. But this, another big step in crypto. Anthony, do appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Thank you.